Welcome back to Bucks County, everyone. Hope all y'all are doing well. I decided to go ahead and put the track through here. I, you know, I figured since I own the land, what can my renters really say? Nothing. They just have to deal with it. They don't have to take care of the yard or anything else. Actually, as I look at it, it looks kind of vacant. Maybe I don't have any renters. Maybe it's just an empty house. But anyway, I digress. So I think this is going to look all right. And it doesn't quite look, you know, spot on. But the artistic side is not really my strong suit, to say the least. Theirs looks a little bit more sporadic and stuff. So I'm not sure if... As mine grows, the grass in the middle grows, is it going to look better? Maybe. But I think it's good enough for us. It looks good enough for me. I don't think I can do any better. Could have did a gravel one or something. That would have been good. But I kind of wanted it to blend a little bit more. Uh, see, yeah, if I had it, like there's kind of comes out into it. Just the little scragglers coming out. But I try to do that and it doesn't come out as a scraggler. It comes out solid. So I think we're going to leave it for now. Maybe later on we will uh, see what we can do. But as I walk it, it doesn't look too bad walking. Kind of looks uneven and like maybe it was caused by tractors driving up and down the road. If you squint your eyes real hard and go look real fast, that's what it looks good. Should do something with this bump right here. Maybe later. I think we're done. Landscaping is over. <laughs> it's time to move on to some farming. Let's take a look at the map real quick here and see what we need to do. We have crops in 16, 15, 17, 28, and all the way over here in 46. Now, I know we need to do some fertilizing. That is, wait, get up there. There we go. So, 16 needs fertilizer. Our grass field needs fertilizer. And I know 46 over here. Our newest field, it needs some fertilizer as well. I don't know, what are, growth state are we on? So we're on like, what, the second or third growth state? It looks like we're on our cornfield, 46. 16, we just put in the ground early, a little bit earlier in the day on the game day, in game day. So I think we should run around and get some fertilizing done first. And then hopefully... We will get 17 will uh, become mature and maybe we can go ahead and harvest our big old canola field. That would be nice because that should be some serious cash because the straw on there is going to be worth a bunch of money as well. Now, I have been toying with the idea of doing chickens. Now, I went through here and I went looking all over the place trying to find the... Uh, sell point or buy point for chickens and come to find out it's right here i looked all over i went in the coop on the coop around the coop i was looking everywhere i moved the forage harvester i'm like where the heck is it and well lo and behold if you stand right here there it is so i was thinking about doing that i mean we've got i think some wheat and we got sixty-six thousand liters of wheat which should feed the chickens just fine is I don't think there is a animal transport, wrong button, man, wrong button, that does chickens. I thought once there might have been a mod uh, come out that you could do chickens, you could transport chickens. But if there is, I don't believe I have it. No chicken. No, I, I do not have it. There might be one somewhere on Mod Hub, but I don't own it. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and buy chickens. They can't be that expensive. Money is kind of dwindling a little bit. We're down to 192. Thousand, that is. So which ones? White, black, or brown? You know, I... I... Oh, it's, I'm, I'm bouncing between black and brown. And I think black. I think they just look good. So how, oh, 500 chickens. I do not want 500 chickens. Let's do, oh, let's do, let's do 50 chickens. Let's do that. I don't even know how much that's going to cost us, but let's start off with 50 chickens. It's not really very many chickens, 3,000, forget it. Let's do 5,000. 
in five thousand dollars worth of chickens. That's what I'm thinking. And oh, we're almost there. There we go. And that gives us seventy-seven. It's uh, it's not really a nice even round number, but we'll take it. Let's confirm. Beautiful. Now we have some little chickens. Good deal. So okay. Back on to other things. We need a fertilizer spreader. And where, oh, where, there it is. I see it. Now, we always, I mostly do dry fertilizer. I've been thinking about going back to a liquid fertilizer. Just because I kind of miss it. See, I cleaned everything up, put my tractors back where they go. They look good. All lined up. Let's go with this guy right here. 6250 it is. Let's get her butt out there and see about grabbing us a sprayer. Or a spreader, actually. So, yeah, I have been toying with maybe going to a liquid fertilizer. But I just don't know the... Dry fertilizer is so much easier. Look at that. We're good. Because you don't have to worry about fences and anything else with the liquid in the liquid, the liquid, <laughs> the liquid. You've always got your uh, poles sticking out there. I don't know what the technical term for them is. Wait, where am I going? Doesn't look like I can har or fertilize 16 yet. So we should probably go over to our grass field. Let's start that. I do not know what the technical term is for the poles that hold all your sprayers, but those can hit the fences and they get in your way, and that's kind of why I switched to dry fertilizer in the first place, which is ease of use. But it's been a while. I'm kind of jonesing for a little bit of maybe do some liquid fertilizer. We also have our silage pit there that is ready to go. Which means that we can make some TMR. And get the cows. I don't know if we're going to get the cows filled up. But we should be able to make what? Like I'm thinking three to 500,000 liters of TMR. Which that's going to go a long way towards getting those cows filled up. I don't think it's going to fill them up and give me some in my silo, but you just never know. I'm not sure exactly how much they're going to take. We haven't filled them up yet. Oh, look at that. I like it when you can actually see where your product is going. That makes life so much easier. I don't think I'm going to put this on a worker. I just don't think uh, by the time I get it ready for them. I don't think it's going to be worth it. This thing does such a wide spread anyway that it should do this field with no problem whatsoever. I had forgot about field number, I believe it's 11. We had bought that so that we could use the forage harvester with the corn. But I've not put any crops back in it since we harvested it. So we got to be pondering that. It's a small field, so we're not really, I mean, it's not going to be a money maker. I might actually go in, plant it up with something, maybe put corn back in it, and then just uh, sell it. Because I'm not really sure that I want it. It's just uh, smaller than what I would like. I would like a little bit bigger fields. I really only bought it so that I could try out the forage harvester, make some compost, or chaff and silage, and that kind of fun stuff. So let me go ahead and let me see if I can get this thing here done. And then what I want to do is just move on from here and then we will get whatever is next on the docket. I know field 46 needs to be gotten. And, you know, one thing I want to do real quick is I have the time scale set at zero because I was kind of running around cleaning up. I want it at five. Let's hurry this thing up. I don't want to end up with nothing to do. And this will kind of ensure that our uh, canola field 
is ready to harvest here fairly soon. With that, let me go ahead and get this done, and then we'll, I will see you when this is done, probably when we're pulling into field 46, somewhere around there. Alrighty, and there we go. We got her done. First things first, we must check. Okay, so let's pull it up. Let's make sure. And that looks beautiful. Okay. Now, I need you guys, hopefully, will do me a favor. Let me know what the video looks like. I was having some pixelation problems, and I couldn't figure it out. And me and OBS went round and round trying to figure out what the heck was going on. It got so much worse. I was trying to fix it, and of course, I am not very technically savvy. So me and YouTube are best buds when it comes to that. So I was having problems, and I went through, and I was trying to fix it in every way that I could think of. Did I go the right way? I don't think I did. Let's see. Oh, nope, there's my store over there. Well, I guess I'll turn around. See, talking, and I do this in real life, too. If I'm on my phone, I'll end up going to God knows where. <laughs> I end up on autopilot, and I end up with, wait, where am I at? Anywho, I digress. So I went battling with it back and forth, and I think I think I finally got it. I ended up even uninstalling, reinstalling, made no difference. But I think now I finally have it figured out. And in a few little test recordings that I did, my uh, pixelation problem was gone. So let me know how it looks on your end. That would be greatly appreciated. That way I know uh, I've got it fixed and we should be good to go. I was kind of hoping that the growth would happen. One more growth state would happen. And then we could go ahead and get field, I think it's 17. I don't think it did, though. Our corn looks like it should be in growth state number three, I believe. Now, I think maybe let's go ahead and we'll run a speedy on this guy. We'll get this done. And then we need to decide what we are going to do next. We can uh, play with the silage bunker. And see about making some TMR, which that is probably a really good idea. While our crops are not really uh, ready to do anything else with. So let's plan on that. Unless something drastic changes, that's what we're going to do. But first things first, let's get this knocked out. And then we'll see how everything lays out after that. But I believe that uh, sounds like a plan for now. close to the end there's uh, I think one little thin strip left to do over here it's a little difficult to see but I think yeah right there it is you can kind of see that looks like I s turned off my sprayer a little too soon as well nice job man I can't stand it when I see little spots that I miss you pull up the map and you got the little holidays all through it all We'll go back up here. We'll finish this up. And then this field is done. 
Now, I believe you can run a forage harvester through corn at any stage. I don't think it has to be fully grown, but I definitely would like it to be in the final growth state at least. Just to get the maximum yield. Okay, so let's pull this up and wait. We're, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, look at that. I got, I do. I have holidays all over the place. Corn found it. So I need to go through. We need to get those fixed. But I do think we're going to come back over here to the farm and we are going to start making some TMR. I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump all of that into my silos. I don't know why I didn't dump the uh, hay into the silo to begin with. And then we will just use the trailer and come out and we should be able to see it right over here to make a pretty easy process of this. Let's see. Oh, oh, look at that. All right. So let me get this all fixed and then I will meet you all at the farm. That should be fine. There we go. So, okay. So we need to do what? We need, we need to make some TMR. So we need to go ahead and I think, I think what I should do is take our hay and we should go ahead and pop it in our silo. I should have just did that to begin with. Why I did not, I am not sure. But then we are going to need to empty out the silage pit. And I have a plan for that. Which also involves getting rid of the hay out of this loading wagon. And I'm sure by now you have an idea of what I'm thinking about doing. And what, we got 324,000 liters. Uh, you know, I don't know how much our silos are going to hold. So, where we got? Oh, 825,000. I think we're good. I don't think we're going to have any problem doing this at all. Man, look at that. That thing unloads right now. It is, it is going quick. So, my plan, I think, is to put everything in the silos here. And then we will take a trailer and we will just basically pull it out trailer loads. And that should make it pretty easy math. It's two, one, one. So you go two hay, one of straw, one of uh, silage. So I don't know how much, how much straw do we have? So we've got 124, almost 125,000. So we, with the straw, we could do 100 and 25,000 of straw and then 250,000 of hay and then hopefully we have 125,000 liters of silage and if my math is correct that should be what 253 so 500,000 liters of TMR is what we should end up with if my math has not failed me which I don't think it did I don't I don't okay so let's get out here and, oh, oh, and it's not going to do it all. Come on, don't do that to me. And, and it did that to me. So we need we need a tractor with a front end loader. And where is it? No. No. Nope. There it is. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> that is not what I... Stop it. Well, so I want to pick it up, would you? Oh. You know, sometimes the simplest task. Why is it not giving me the opportunity to pick up my bucket? Oh, because my bucket's upside down. Well, that is really nice. Drop that. Well, I guess I did it to myself, didn't I? I most certainly did, but we'll fix it as well. There we go. Come here, you. There we go. That should work out better. Perfect. Let's go. I don't know if I can climb this mountain. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. I don't know if I can climb this thing from the backside or not. But we're going to find out. That was close. It's pretty steep.
Hey, okay, dump it out. Go, baby, you can do it. Oh, I had faith in you all the time. Sorta. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what. There we go. Okay, perfect. That was all we needed. Let's get this guy out of the way. I would not want to be driving a tractor like this. It would have to be terrifying, I would think, in real life. Death wish. Okay, so there we go. We got that all taken care of. I got to fix that bump. Now. But I guess if that's the worst thing to happen to us doing this, that is not too shabby. So let's let's open our menu so we make sure we know what we're doing. We're already lowered. Turned it on. Now let's hope this goes off without a hitch. I could come in here with a conveyor belt and all of that, or I could just do this. Wow. That was nice. Did we get it all? 183,000. I am glad that we have another cornfield because that just does not seem like very much. And boom, we got it. All right. That was pretty painless right there. That is the best way. I try to do a little bit more real everyone most of the time. But sometimes, you know, you're like, just let's just get it picked up. Let's just get it done. Get it over with. I have the tools for the job. Do it. Okay, dump that in there. So we're going to dump it in here. I think I'm going to grab a different trailer. Wow, that dumped out fast. Did that give me everything that I wanted there? Uh... Wait, wait a second. Shouldn't that be, shouldn't that be there? Shouldn't that, what, what, wait, right here? That's where that should be? I had 184,000 liters, right? So, all right, I went back and I looked at my clip. And what had happened is as I went to the outside of my silage bunker and I went to pick up that little bitty bit that was there, my 184,000 liters of silage turned into like 300 liters of chaff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that up. I know it's my own fault for being cheaty. And I should probably suffer the consequences, but I don't want my cows to suffer the consequences as well. So we're going to unload some of this. And we need at least a hundred and some thousand liters. So, okay, come on. Give me a hundred and some thousand. Now we're at a hundred and something. I think that should do it. There we go. Let's go here and empty it. Now, open this guy back up. I said, open that. Come on. There you go. And turn it on. And let's see. We what? We needed 108. I don't think I had enough for 184,000, did I? I don't think I dropped enough for that. Corn found it. Ugh. Where are we at? So... Oh, what the heck? What did it pick up? This is... <laughs> okay. So, all right. What I'm going to do is I am going to get 184,000 liters into this dang loading wagon. And then we'll touch base again. I don't think... Well, you might want to watch me suffer. But I'm going I'm to go ahead... And I'm going to get this done, and I will see you in just a second. We did pretty good. We got 183,778. That is perfect. So we got a little bit left that I don't 
want there. So let's go here. And we're going to go over here. And I think we're smooth. Just to smooth that out. That's perfect. Goodbye. Okay. We're good. Now we should be all on the up and up. Everything should be back to the way it was. And my cheating ways have not cost me too dearly just a little bit of time. That's not too shabby. <laughs> so let's see about putting this guy in there. Okay, that is better. And it's taken more than a half a second for it to go in. So things must be good. Now we have, what does that trailer? There's a red trailer right up in front of us. What? No, gather. No. Stop it. There we go. How much does that trailer hold? Uh, 150,000. Oh, so we need 124. We need all the straw. And then we will need... You know, if I just do all the straw and 150,000 liters of silage, and then we can fill the rest up with... What, 250,000 liters? Something like that? Okay, so let's get this off of here. I don't, to be honest, I don't think I need this anymore. Let's return it and get it out of here. Stop tempting me. Because I am weak, 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 weak. And I can't help myself. So return that guy. Goodbye. Okay, there we are. No willpower. That's what I have. It's like, oh, there it is. I might as well use it. So I think we'll start off with the straw. Then we will go to silage. Oh, not here. I'm, I'm pondering what, how, and what order I'm going to do, not paying attention to where I'm going. Par for the course. There we go. We want straw. That's all we want. Perfect. Now that's going to take all of our straw. So we will have none left for the cows. And how are they doing for straw? Okay, so we're all right. We're about a little, little under half. So we will definitely need to be uh, planting a crop. Maybe some uh, wheat. Maybe some oats. Oats are always good because you get good money for the crop itself and then you also get the straw on top of it there we go dump that in there well, that shows it looked like it had a little something something in there but I don't think it had much okay silage so there we go and 50 it's going going go. man it fills up right now too it does a really good job and right well a little high but that's all right you can't have too much silage in your tmr that's for sure takes it all so it should be one trailer of straw or hay plus another hundred thousand liters and we should be good to go That's what I. That's what. That's what I'm a figuring. I mean, I've seen other people have different uh, recipes for it. I just kind of follow the base game one, and that seems to work out well. As long as it's going to work, it's going to give the cows uh, what they need. I would put as much straw in there as I possibly could, to be honest with you. There we go. So now we'll take a full trailer of hay. Dun, dun, dun. How's it? Uh oh, I think we hit a grow spurt here, folks. Let's take a quick look. And is our canola ready to harvest? I think it is. It is, which means field 16 should be ready for the final fertilization as well. 15 is ready to go almost. No, what are you doing that for? And then... Now, what I find funny is I believe 15 was planted before 28. 
because it was. I went through and we planted 15 first, and then we came down here and we had to cultivate 28 and plant it, but yet 28 is ready to harvest before all of 15. Hmm. That is, that is very peculiar. I mean, it's not shocking, but still, it's a, it's a little peculiar. Look at that. That thing is uh, doing well. Drop it in there. Let's go over here. See, you're dumping in there. Looking good. Looking good. So we're at uh, 300,000. Oh, nuts. That's not good, folks. That's not good at all. Oh, no. Uh. Oh, no. Hmm. So what am I going to do if all we get is 300,000 liters? Huh. I thought, I don't know why, I thought this thing did more than that. No, dumb, oh no. I don't know if I can fix this or not now. So how much, wait, how much is left in here? We got 100,000 liters in there. Oh my goodness. See, my math was wrong anyway. That only equals 400,000. Oh, because we needed another 100,000 on top of this. Oh, okay. Rut row raggy. Now what do we do? So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to try to do something here. I don't know if this is going to work. Or if this is not going to work. I think I might have just screwed the pooch, folks. Uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I'm going to try to take some out and then see what it says. Oh, boy. Best laid plans. Crank it over there, baby. Okay, so now let's see. Come over here and we try to turn this on. Is it going to... What? Start? Okay. What do we need to take out? How much? So what's it taking out of there? It looks like it's... Taking a little bit of everything. So, all right, what it's doing is it's pulling the products out of there one at a time. So, like right now, it's only taking silage out of the mixer, which means all I got to do is do this, and we can make a... Oh, it must have stopped because I got out. Okay, so we do that. So now it's only unloading the silage. As you can see, the uh, straw is actually going up where the silage is going down percentage wise so anyway so the percent of silage is going down the percent of uh straw is going up okay so this guy must be full i wanted to make sure i sh showed you what I, a nice park job don't you think <laughs> i wanted to make sure i showed you what i was doing so you knew i wasn't going to come in here and just delete it all and then cheat in new so the wagon over there i pulled in another wagon that one is full of nothing but hay. So all the hay I've put in is now gone. And we are working on the silage. So what I'm going to do is we're going to empty it all out. And then we will start over and see if uh, we can actually get us some TMR rocking and rolling here. Took everything out, but I left 75,000 liters of straw. And then we're going to put in 150,000 liters of hay. And then we should be able... To top the rest off, it'll be a just a, a little bit more than 75,000 liters of silage. And that should, in theory, all things should be good. Then we should be able to take our TMR, we can go over, we can dump it out into the cows, and then we can make another load if need be. And uh, 
we should be sitting pretty good. I don't think I want to leave any in here. I still think I got ripped out of 150,000 liters a while back. But, you know, uh, whatever. What are you going to do? Cry over spilled milk? I think not. Just suck it up and move on. Move, get it? Move on. Uh, that was, okay. It was funnier in my head than it was when I said it. Well, 76. All right. It only will take however much it needs, so that's okay. I'd rather have a little extra than a little less. There we go. So let's get you dumping. Let's get out and let's see if we are going to have some TMR. Come on. Oh, one more green. Give me a green. Do it. Still dumping. Oh, look at that. We now have TMR. Woohoo! Hallelujah. Okay, so we do have success. Now, what I need to do is let's go over here and. Whoa, is that a little jumpy? Maybe I was getting caught on my tractor. I was, thought I was trying to walk fast and I was kind of jumpy and jittery. What do we got? Oh, we got just a little bit of silage in here. I guess we'll go ahead. We'll empty this out. And then let's pick up our TMR. Dump it out and bing. There we go. Beautiful. So we can make another batch. We will see. Uh, we will see what it does for the cows. We'll drop this in there and we'll see where they are. And that'll dictate whether we want to go ahead and make another batch or not. As you can see, I do have some hay here in bales, but uh, I wouldn't mind throwing that in there as well, just to get it out of there. TMR, that is such nice things to see. So we are gonna have two loads. We will put both of these loads in there for sure. I wanna empty this machine out all the way. And then I'm thinking we will probably go ahead and, if we have time, at least start on our canola harvest. I'm going to leave it at times five, I think. I've been toying with, I don't know about this series, but maybe another series doing it where it's always on times five. And you can't shut it off. You can't stop it. You just have to, you just have to deal with it. I've never done that, and I think that would be a very interesting way to play. See how much, uh, see how how frantic it gets trying to keep up with all of that at times five. So let's go dump this in there, and then what I'll probably do is then I'll, I'll we'll dump this in there, and then I'll go ahead and grab the rest and get it filled in there. Back up there, baby. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Perfect. Is it dumping? There it goes. I'm like, is it dumping? What's it doing? It looks like it needs a little tidying up in there. Our cows are kind of making a mess. Let's see. Well, it's dumping. Can I fit? Nope. I guess I go around. Jump over the poo dispenser. Not the lights. Turn on brush. There we go. Since we're here. The only thing I don't like about this thing is the amount that it holds. And you got to keep pushing the button. Well, and the brakes. The brakes are crazy. I mean, you take your finger off the gas and you stop right now. There we go. So, all right. We got that trailer in there. Now, how did that do? And how much did that give us for the or give the cows i guess i should say not us oh well shoot we're doing fine so i think i'm gonna fill up we'll get the cows all the way filled up that is nice i did not think it was gonna fill it all the way up and then we will put it whatever we have left in the silo but the good news is is this gives us 10 days worth of food because it doesn't matter if they have the rest. As long as they have TMR, they're good. It's 100%. The others I usually fill up just so that they eat a little bit. And my theory is, is that the TMR lasts a little bit longer 
because they're eating a little bit of grass and you know I don't think it actually works that way but what the heck it's nice to hope so let me get this done and then uh, then we will move on and probably start a, a canola harvest I think I decided since we were taking care of the cows we might as well take care of the cows all the way so I went ahead and we filled them up with straw which took almost all of the straw that we had and I thought okay we've cleaned them up we have gave them straw might as well give them some water they are going to be sitting just dandy should be at a hundred percent or I think that only goes to 99 but that's all right that will be good we shouldn't have to worry about the cows other than selling milk for the next 10 days hopefully 10 ish days anyway we will have to do a little cleaning but at least now they are, oh, looks like I need to fill up my water trailer here. There we go. While it's filling up, we'll do that. Should be pretty good. Because you, with a setup like this, when I put the spigot right there, you can fill up your tank and empty it all at the same time. Which makes it go a lot better. Okay, so we're going to fill this up. Then what I would like to do is go ahead and maybe get some food for the chickens in there. Right now, they've got nothing. So I'd like to get that rocking as well. Then we don't have to worry about the animals anymore. Okay, perfect. So we'll go up here. Let's grab this little trailer right here. And that should work just fine. I don't even think they're going to take a full trailer of this. Full trailer of wheat is what I should have said. This trailer full of wheat. How's that? There we go. I said it the right way. <laughs> Takes me a minute to figure out. How do I say what I'm trying to say? We don't, no, we just want some wheat. That also takes barley. Let's just do barley. Let's clear barley out. I think that'll be good. Now, oh, darn forage harvester is in the way. For some reason, you do not have to water the chickens. I don't know why, but maybe there's some strange desert breed that doesn't require liquid. All right, let's get this thing out of the way. Come on. Go, go. That's good. Okay. Well, did it get out of our way enough to put food in here? It did. That's all that we were really looking for. Back it up. Back it up, baby. There we go. Whoa. Oh, we had it. I like to get a little bit more aligned. Don't want to be dropping it 12 foot away. Perfect. Be nice if they took all of this. I don't think they're going to. No, of course not. So, okay. So now all the animals, all two different kinds, are done. Now, I am thinking that I want to upgrade my harvester. Now, we don't have a slew of money. But at the same time, we have to trade in our harvester. And if I need to, we have a quad track that we can get rid of as well. So what is... What is our harvester worth? Owned items. So we can get 21 or 211, 21, 211,000. That's going to give us almost $400,000 to do whatever we need to do. I think that's going to be just fine for a harvester. Now, I guess we're going to stay John Deere. I mean, Right now, it's kind of looking like a John Deere farm. I really didn't plan on this being a John Deere farm. But a lot of the uh, stuff was already here. It was already John Deere, so I kind of stayed with it. And here we are with John Deere, every, most things anyway. Now, the reason I want to swap out this guy is because it only holds 10,000 liters. And that's just not I, that's just not enough. I'd like a little bit more than that. Let's start off with getting this guy sold. Now I've noticed that you kind of have to come to the backside of that little uh, 
light there. That seems to work. 253. So what if we repair? 254. Sweet. All right. We should be good to go. Now, let's see what they have for options. Harvesters. Booyah. Now, this is the guy we had, the T560 with 10,000 liters. Now, I mean, we could step up to this. This has got 14,000 liters, but I'm still thinking that maybe we should go a little bigger. So I am thinking, was it, it was this guy right here. This is the S780 through the S790 series. So we can come in and we have factory extensions. That puts it up to 45,000 liters. And I'm thinking 75,000. We could go, uh, if we really wanted to, we could go a hunt. Look at all the different options on there. 35, 55, 65, 75. You know, maybe 75 is a little much. Is it? Is it, see, two of them, though, equal our trailer. So if we get two, I don't know that we have any fields that we are going to be getting 150,000 liters worth of crop off of that. So let's see. We're 35. Let's do, let's do 35,000 liters. Let's not go too crazy. Wheel brand. We got uh, Michelin, Midas, and Michelin and Midas. I have to say, I kind of like the Michelin's better than the Midas. The treads are a little too close together. Let's go Midas. Wheel setup. Oh, tracks. Uh, you know, I'd, oh, we could do duels. Those don't look too bad. I kind of like the other duels were a little too much. I think, uh, I think that looks good. Now, this is what I like is we can do a tuning of the base power. Make sure we have enough butt behind us to move 35,000 liters. So for five grand, it takes us to a hundred or a thousand and ninety-four HP. I I like it. For five grand, come on. Now the tailboards, to be honest, I really don't know what difference these make. The standard even costs you two grand. What a rip that is. But I think the standard is just fine with us. Rear hitch. I do want a rear hitch. Let's zoom. No, stop that. So we got that guy. Oh, it puts it off to the side a little bit. I can't tell what kind of hitch it is, though. Doesn't look like a pin hitch. That brings it out a little further, which is nice. And then there's the traditional pin hitch up underneath. I think that's what we want to go with. I think we can hook up anything to that. And pipe, 6.9 meters, 7.9. I think let's go with the big boy. Just in case we end up with a, a big header. I don't know what size header we have. And I don't want to go wider axles because I think that should mess with our turning radius. So let's stick with that. Engine setup, we've already bumped it up. Look, they charge you 52 grand for the standard engine. What a rip. But I think that's fine. I think a thousand horsepower should do us just ducky. And it gives us about $140,000 left. Let's buy it. Booyah, look at that. Little upgrade going on. I like it. That is a nice looking machine. Let's go, let's go take a look. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, it's getting dark. I don't think I'm going to get any harvesting done tonight. But, man, she looks good. That is a mammoth beast. These things are just ginormous. You come up to... <laughs> the tire, the front tire is as tall as we are. Or taller, it looks like. Sweet. Well, with that, what I'm going to do... I'm going to hop in this guy and take it back to the farm. I'm going to call it a night, and I will see you all in the morning, and we will see about getting uh, getting some canola done. So I got everything lined up over here. We are ready to rock and roll. Now we are racing the rain. 
as I look into the forecast, it is going to rain sometime. Let me in. Oh, I got to come over here. I always forget. There we go. Okay. So hopefully this goes without issue. Sometimes this header, I get it quite a bit. It likes to fight me for whatever reason. I've had a few little glitches with it. Now, how do we want to tackle this field? Because it is definitely an odd shape. Kind of. I don't know which way, like the grain of it runs, we can look. But what I would like to be able to do is kind of come down and swipe right along that point. And then get rid of all this, do a few headlands around, and see if we can get it maybe worker friendly. I know that's asking a lot, to be honest. Let's start across the bottom here and see see if we can make this happen. Back up already brakes are bad. That's that's not a good sign. Drop it down. Oh, Oh, I need to unfold the harvester, huh? There, how's that? That gonna work? There we are. It's just on the wrong little icon. Okay, how about... I did unfold the harvester. There we go. There it is. And we are rocking pretty good. Now, this header goes a little faster then it I know that's shocking is it not a little faster than it's supposed to but that's kind of one of the benefit oh benefits of having this harvester oh that's a mess and we will be using a traditional loading wagon I will not be using the big the big boy I'm done with that at least for right now uh, yeah, definitely for right now. So, okay, so it runs. I'm looking at the grain of the field here to see how... Oh, my. My driving skills uh, are not at their peak today for whatever reason. Maybe I'm too busy thinking about the Buccaneers going to be in the Super Bowl. I am stoked. I have been a Buccaneer fan for way, way too long, and they never make anything easy. So for them to actually be in the Super Bowl, a home field Super Bowl, stay away from those damn trees, uh, is is pretty amazing. I watched them when they had old Bucko Bruce, and they were more of the Suckineers than the Buccaneers. So. For those of you who watch football, you might know what I'm talking about. For those of you who don't, uh, sorry to be boring you <laughs> with such details. <laughs> but I'm a little bit stoked. I don't know that we're going to be able to beat Kansas City. Their quarterback, Holmes, is just uh, he just a beast. That guy is something for sure. But anyway, back to farming. Here we are. Here we are. So we've only got 32% in this guy already. So let's go ahead. I will, of course, run us the speedy on this. Let's go ahead, put our nose to the grindstone, and see about getting this thing pounded out.
Well, I will be the first to admit this is not the prettiest uh, swaths of straw that I have ever seen. I've got some mounds and some spots and some places all over this field that look a tad bit sloppy. And I got nobody to blame but myself here. So we're going to get, what, about two and a half harvesters out of it. So that would be, what, 70, 95,000, somewhere around there maybe. Something like that. That's my, that's my uh, edumacated guess there. We'll see how it actually goes. Be in the trailer, that's better. It's better to have all the product go in the trailer than uh, not, I think. So where, where is canola being sold at? That's what I want to know. And what is the price? Are we going to keep it? Hmm. You know, my problem is, is I have no point of reference. I do not know what it should be. Now, we've got soybeans over here, and they're at 23, 25, and I know canola is less than that. It's at 21, 29. You know, maybe what we should do is let's, let's see here. I'm, that's going, uh, oh, 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 it is so hard. I hate to sell stuff for less than what we should get. We're going to get, what, a hundred and probably right around a hundred and forty, hundred and fifty thousand dollars for what we have in there, I would think. I need to ponder this. We could go through and pick up some of the straw. No, not a tree. Oh, corn found it. It's usually not good to be smacking these headers against trees, I would think. I would think that would not be very good for them. <laughs> not at all. So let's uh, find somewhere to park this thing, get it out of the way. Can we fit through here? Barely. Don't hit the door. Okay, so I think... I'm not putting it in my silo, so let's spin it around here and drop it off. Let's uh, unfold this guy. Or fold header. I thought I hit that button, but evidently I did not. Perfect. So she's ready to be moved on to bigger and better things. We need to decide what we're going to do with the canola. I'm procrastinating and stalling as much as I can. I say let's go sell it. I think it's, I mean, it's at a decent price, I think. Anytime you're in the twos, I think we're good. So let's go back in here. And that's where it's at. Central feed. Tag it. Let's see, where is central feed? Blinky, blinky. Oh, there it is. I do not believe I have sold there before, so that's cool. That'll be at least a different spot to go. All right, well, let's get our butt up there and uh, see what it's all about over there. Well, this place is just a stone's throw away. Oh, there we go. I see it. This is not far at all. And I, you know, did I, have I been here before? Now I kind of feel like I have. I do not know let's get back here and there we go so this ought to bump us up there the money goes there it goes I do like how fast this trailer unloads it is a pretty darn lickety split we're down to 20 what 20 percent and going 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 jeez look at the money go Oh, 183 grand. Woo! That is nice. I did not expect that. I was thinking maybe around 140, 150,000. We had, I think it was 85,000 liters. A little short of what I was thinking, but that's not too bad. I think we're going to call it right here. It ended up, as always, being a longer video than I was wanting it to be. I keep uh, trying to shorten my length of time that I am uh, recording trying to shorten the videos but somehow these dang videos always end up at the same length too long 
But, you know, hey, any hoot, I'm just good. I'm having fun, enjoying it, you know. Hopefully, if it's too long for you, maybe you'll come back, watch the second half a little bit later. If not, well, it is what it is. I definitely want to thank you all for tuning in. Let's see, what do we, next episode, before I get too far, let's see, what do we need to get done next episode? Whoa, I think it just went into change in here. So, uh, 16, we need to get the final fertilization on that before it uh, it goes too far, because it is close. We need to do something with 11. I think it needs lime, does it not? It does. I think what we will probably do is we'll lime it, we'll plant it, and then we will sell it. That's kind of my rule. I can't just buy it, harvest it, and sell it. We've got to sell it in good condition, as good or better condition that we got it in. So other than that, I really want to hop on to harvesting our, these guys right here. Little sugar beet time, definitely be in the next episode. Now I am chomping at the bit. They're going to have a new Bucks County update coming, and I am pretty sure it's going to need a new game save. So when that happens, I will definitely update it, and I am going to recreate this to the best of my ability. It will be pretty darn close. Now, the hours of operation on the equipment, I won't mess with any of that. But other than that, it should be, it should be pretty close anyway when we get done with it. With all that being said, hey, thanks for tuning in all. I hope you enjoyed. Be good, everyone, and until next time, see ya!